Do I listen to Tenacious D? Of course I do. Tenacious D is classic. Wait. Hello everyone. This is your favorite editor speaking. As you might see from the 16-year-old Thray, I've decided to bring some ancient Tarkov raids. This was clearly because Wipe and Arena are near and not because he's been playing Daisy for three fucking d anyways. Hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Love you all less than three. Order my Marin for two marked. Good trade. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty fair for both for both ends. You know what? I'm not actually him. Good morning, brother. Thank you for the bits. We're doing great, dude. We're doing fucking fantastic, man. Chat has never told a lie, so it must be true. The ergo makes this thing take so so long. The aim out, look at this. Oh, and the sway, dude. The sway is is real fucking shit, man. <clears throat> Worth doing. I mean, you have to for Kappa. You have to do it if you want Kappa quest. So. I would just fucking do it, man. It's like nothing. It's progress, and three GPUs. Like, yeah, it's expensive, whatever. You know. Uh, it's more reasonable than you think, Joe, with a daily quest. 62 is definitely possible, but you know your playtime is not better than I do. So. Depends on your goals, man. That thing's swanging. <laughs> Only have Shooterborn left and you can go outside and touch some grass? Hell yeah, dude. Whoa. The audio just fucking really fucked with me there, dude. I have a black head. This isn't good. Black head is not good here. Not good at all. Oh, my arm's done for, isn't it? Fuck it. We're leaking, man. We are leaking hard. That audio really, really fucked me over there, I think. I'm lucky to be alive, honestly. Okay, now we can dump our helmet since it's not going to save us. We have a black head. Black head zero ergo, we gaming. I agree. We definitely gaming. Alright, let's dump this thing like. Armor at 55 out of 72. Job in, boys! Free airframe, free airframe. This guy picked up the guy's fucking gun. So, no head? Just do brain surgery? Yeah, yeah. Dude, what if you had a friend? Okay, hear me out. What if you couldn't heal a black limb, but you could have like a black thorax or head, but you could have somebody else do it on you in raid? Like you couldn't do surgery on your own brain, but another PMC could. If they had like max surgery skill or something, I don't know. It just seems like a funny idea. And it's like a two minute surgery or something, yeah. I scared the shit out of me, dude. I didn't think he'd be in the middle of the fucking hallway, bro. Uses the entire surgery kit to do it. Oh, it's gonna be empty, isn't it? Damn it. Hey, it's still a key card holder, though. It's still a key card holder. That's our first one. Of course, it was empty. Dude, that guy scared me in the middle of the hallway over there. Yeah, yeah, or you can use a defib to res your dead teammate. 
within like only if it's within like five seconds of them dying that you start doing it. They die five within five seconds. You can start defibbing them, but you can't put it in your container, so they're like mad expensive. I don't know. It's all just like stupid stuff, I think, but it'd be funny. It'd be kind of funny. Oh shit! This is that meta gun, man. Free helmet. You gotta give him hella joys to keep him alive, yeah, yeah. He's got like a an unhealable two heavy bleeds. He comes back on one HP and it's only in the leg. <laughs> but imagine how pissed you'd be you kill somebody and their friend just reses them. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just very rare. Like, I've heard of people still getting them, apparently, but who knows who's just lying, you know? Hard to tell. Some people just make shit up in Twitch chat. So I'm as confused as you are. I know it would add some use to the defib, right? Or maybe, maybe more... I don't know. A more reasonable thing would be for the defib to make it so you could like do surgery on a... On the black thorax or something. I don't know. Not that that really makes much sense. And this guy closed all this shit. Yeah. We going why they're still owners. I don't know why they're still spawning. They're just vendor though. All right, Trippin, I got these glasses off of a guy that I killed, Dark Side. That's why they're fucked up. Dark Side comes from bullet rooms. Yeah, I get it, but I'm just saying, dude. Is it defib always for a heart attack, or is it from your heart stopping? Is it only heart attack? I know they have defibs in like pretty much every big, I don't know, like building in the US, like schools and stuff like that. Is it only heart attacks? Heart, or is it heart stopping in general? I thought it was just dying from anything like that. But I guess dying, I don't know, from other stuff wouldn't be cardiac arrest. Maybe no, no, I don't know, dude. If they add a fucking unconscious state, like they have in Daisy, this game would suck. <laughs> this game would like. What if every time you got shoddied? Okay. What if they made it so anytime you got shoddied by like buckshot in the head, even with a helmet on, you went unconscious? Like imagine that, dude. <laughs> so anytime you were like an Alton, you got shoddied in the head, you'd just be fucking dead anyways, because they would just kill you on your towel. <laughs> That would that would be pretty brutal. I playing with HK? I have not. They nerfed it again though, so I'm pretty sure it's like horrible. Regulate heart once you're able to get somebody's heart pumping in after cardiac arrest. Okay, I see. see. But it's like an emergency piece of equipment, right? Or like a, I don't know. Like you need it in a very very urgent manner. That's why they have them in buildings and shit. Best way to achieve stress resistance now? I was jumping off the cliffs with no painkillers. Just yeeting myself off the rocks. Make sure you don't die though, doing it. Alright, we need to get the fuck out of here. And preferably not get shot in the head. That be my plan. After we die, we try HKT. That thing's horrible. <laughs> that thing is so bad. The landmines and wood? I guess we do that too. What is that? <sighs> yeah, Megan's got new name. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to get scabbed in the head. Ah, 
Uh, no, I'm just thinking if I die with them, I can use them for the, the fridge trade. I think it, I don't have much health. I took out my server to put the key card container in there, and I still have a few slots, so why not? Right. It's a mini hose for your teeth? Okay, I see. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, like the thing the dentist uses? Guys, there's an angry... I'm gonna die to a scav. Black Ted, I'm so dead to a scav. That's all I gotta say, dude. I fucking hate the dentist. But the thing that the dentist uses where they like spray the fucking water on your teeth is so fucking nice. Nah, it's only, it only goes in box case. One more, one more, brother. You can do it. Get down there. Come on. Oh. There you go. Nice. Fucking, uh, quite the interesting one. Quite the interesting way to die, to say the least. <laughs> I, I was looking at his legs when he was laying there. I'm like, I don't think this guy's dead. minutes we get new dailies cool. but like who's going through and sitting through the, the taco bell drive through for one taco nobody's doing that nobody's doing that hey thank you for continuing your gift sub but you know what i was thinking is it's fucking rick thank you for the 10 gifted man thank you my long lost uncle rick himself is back guys thank you um it's, I was thinking, dude, it's fucking amazing for, like, say, like, a homeless person, right? That doesn't necessarily know, like, where their next meal is coming from. Like, it's just one Taco Bell taco, but I think that goes a long way when you otherwise would not be able to fucking eat anything, right? It's insane value, and it's, like, guaranteed food every day. So imagine if you like drive past homeless people on your way to work or something and you just instead of giving them money or something like that or food If you don't have that on you, what if you bought fucking like what if you were just feeling generous one day you were talking about you bought like Three of the fucking vouchers and you were just giving them out to people Alexander, thank you for the prime dude, thank you 30 bucks dude, 90 tacos to homeless people I don't think they do let you redeem them all at once. Dude. Rick! Oh, I'm fucking dead, Rick! I'm fucking dead! Hey! Holy fuck. Rick, you almost got me fucking killed, buddy! Thank you so much for the fucking 20 gifted, dude. Dude, if you guys don't drop a wide hard o for, for my man Rick right now, we got some problems, dude. The support is, is unreal, man. It really means a lot. Thank you. What is happening? Oh my god. Thank you, Rick. I am borderline dead right now. How's the SA 58 feel? Well, honestly, it saved my life there. The 50 round mag and the and the zero ergo. Zero ergo masterpiece right here. This one, the muzzle brake kit. Way better stats. Waldo, thank you for the three months, dude. Let's go, we back. Food, thank you for the gift bread that makes you fat 69. I want to see it. He's never heard of that fucking 647 bread, man. 
favorite food is sushi and then probably like carne asada and then just like a nice steak. Uh, maybe maybe steak then carne asada i don't know i know carne asada is technically steak but i'm talking about like a nice fucking a nice medium rare like great fucking great steak cut with that like mod wait 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 we need to have a conversation if you guys are making a nice steak say like a not like a filet not like a filet honestly i'll be the first to say it dude okay y'all might hate me for this but i will take i will take a nice fucking like t-bone over a filet any day of the week any day of the week no doubt I'll take, I'll take a nice fucking, a nice T-bone, medium rare with like Montreal seasoning, 100% over filet. Filet is overrated as fuck. It's more food, it's just better, dude. It's, it's just legit better, man. Nah, fuck. Not, not that I don't love a, love a nice filet. My new some of stuff, oh, wait, 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 your, your filet gang all the way, Rick? Like a fucking ribeye, dude. Place well, tender, but less. I know it's. I love a fillet. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, for it to cost that much more, it should be. It's just not. Uh. Fillet is great. Don't get me wrong, dude. I'm not. I'm not hating on the fillet. I would eat a fillet every meal of the day if I could fucking afford it, man. Whoa! Nice head there, man. Play is a part of it. Too. No, no, I'm just talking about like a. I'd rather have a nice like ribeye or like big ass fucking steak, dude. Medium rare, like with with like fucking I don't know Montreal seasoning or something like. Then a then a six to eight ounce fillet, like well it's it's about how you cook it, right? Because you're not grilling a fillet. You know what I mean? I I don't want that fucking. That baked ass full it's just like not, it's just not, it doesn't hit the same. It doesn't hit the same. Or like a ribeye or something like that, I don't know. I like, I like them all dude, steak is steak, but I'm just saying dude. The filet is just a little bit overhyped. Yeah, but eh. I'm talking about a big ass T bone, like on the bone still. No, you just have barter trades on Gunja. A T bone for breakfast. I mean, dude, you're talking to the man. You're talking to the man that ate a fucking. I would. <laughs> I would rotisserie, listen to me. You guys know what a rotisserie is? You're talking to the guy that for months would rotisserie a fucking cheap ass, like $4 a pound rump roast once a week and eat that shit for breakfast every day. Medium rare rotisserie rump roast. So you can't say I don't, I don't love me a steak. All right. It's, it was actually fucking amazing, too. It doesn't take long to cook. You literally, you season it, dude. You throw that thing. You throw that thing in the rotisserie. I have a rotisserie that my parents bought in, like, probably the late 90s. Let me find it. Rotisserie. Let me find one. I can't remember the brand it is. But it's, like, a, it's very old. Now these ones look nicer. This one doesn't look bad. Holy fuck, that one's nineteen thousand dollars. So it's like this. Hold up. So this thing's like hundred fifty bucks, dude. Showtime rotisserie. This might be the newer version of the one that I have. You fucking stab it. I think I might have a black and decker one or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. You throw this thing on here. I'm, I'm dead ass serious. I'm not fucking with you guys. You go over here. You, you stab the rump roast, right? You find, you can like look up the best temperature for the best time. You stab that thing. You season it all first, right? You stab it. 
and you just let you turn this thing on you let it go for like an hour or two and then it is like perfectly cooked medium rare through and through or however you want it and then you get one of those electric knives cut it up throw it in a in a tupperware and you got that thing for the week man you got that thing for the week you can do chicken and stuff in there too turkey as well that's out that's usually how we do our ham for thanksgiving as well or maybe not that i don't know maybe we do our turkey that way i can't remember Maybe it's the turkey we do that way, actually. Never mind. But I don't know. I don't really cook on Thanksgiving or anything. I don't know the best way to cook a turkey or nothing like that. I'm, I'm still, a, I'm still a kid in that aspect. But for your chicken medium rare, I like chicken rare as it gets, dude. I'm a fan of the rare chicken. Did I miss it? Oh, I forgot to add it. Fuck, Charlie. You're right. So look, if you add your inspect, Charlie, to press. For the key that you want to check chamber with, right? And then you add check, or you add the unjam thing. Hey, buddy, I was fucking not paying attention, man. I'm real pissed off about that one, you hear me? I'm real fucking pissed off. Real pissed off about that one, man. Um, then you add the unjam thing to release. It'll, it'll unjam in one button. So that's what you gotta do. Sorry, I meant to add that in the video, but I forgot. Yeah, but I'm dead ass about the I'm dead ass about the fucking rotisserie, dude. That thing is great. Ain't nothing like that rotisserie rump roast, man. And it's so cheap. If you guys don't have like a, a BJ's or a Walmart near you, you can probably hit up like a local butcher. Cause they usually, as far as I know, they usually don't keep that just like unfucking. I don't know, like, unfucking, I don't, I don't really know, prepared, I guess, rump roast like that, or bottom round or anything. But if you call them in advance and say you want it, they'll, they'll probably hook you up. Lamb? I don't really, I've never really had much lamb. Favorite cereal? Dude, we've talked about this. We've talked about this, man. Fruity Pebbles. Although I haven't had it in a long time. Suddenly starving? Tell me about it. Just don't eat bread, dude. Don't eat bread. Uh, it depends on what you get, but it's very low and it's extremely lean. Oh, let me look up. I just want to see the macros on a rump roast. Like, the average rump roast. It's fucking nuts. It's so lean, dude. There's not a, there's not a fucking ounce of fat on that thing. Beef rump roast. What are we looking at? Okay, on average, right? You got fucking... Okay, that is not... That's a... Boneless cooked rump roast, okay? Four ounces cooked. 211 calories, right? 24 grams of protein. Okay, so here's here's one. Let's see, it really depends. It, they're all different. This one says four ounces raw is 160 calories. 25 grams of protein, 6 grams of fat. Wait, that's fucking great, dude. That's, that, that seems more, more like it. But obviously it really depends on what you're getting. What, Carlito? What is that? I've never had gator before. That seems kind of crazy. What are you guys from Florida, man? Eating the gators over here? You like your meat stuffed or you prefer it natty? Definitely natty on the meat. Gator is crazy. Wait, what does gator taste like? Chicken or no? It probably tastes like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Level 20 use gun guide. Um, RFB M80. Emperor, think of the bits, man. RFB M80. For sure. Oh, new quest. Gator is just chewier chicken. Okay, I feel like all those uh, exotic meats <laughs> taste taste a lot like chicken, right? That's like the the common thought there. Them them exotic meats. 
frog legs. Never tried them. Seem gross. Tall am I? 69 inches, dude. 69 and a half inches. Jack Barrigam. Kangaroo burger also seems kind of gross. You know what else I'm not really a fan of? Those fucking like minced salmon burgers. That seems gross. If I'm eating salmon, it has to be like, I don't know, in like a in like a sashimi context or cooked completely. I'm not, I'm not fucking with no minced salmon. That is fucking disgusting. Like, like I don't know. I'm not eating no ground beef salmon. Yeah, dudes, dudes are out here eating kangaroos, dude. Salmon cakes? Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. You never seen minced salmon? Yeah, look at this shit. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You don't do this. This is just what you don't do. You don't do this, man. Mm-mm. That's that chicken nugget paste, but it's salmon. Yeah, it was recently, Mikey. Would have been tea. All I'm saying is bison, like, it wasn't bad. I didn't not like it. It's just, I'm not paying $11 a pound for pretty much the same thing as ground beef, right? It's got like the same macros and everything. It wasn't, I wasn't buying a bison. I was, I was just, I was just buying raw ground bison, Kevin. I'm sure I'm sure it's different though. I'm sure like if you're if you're up in Canada or somewhere where there's actually the bison, right? <laughs> you're no good. Thank you for gifting Trey 24k mom, dude. I'm sure you can get better bison than I had. I'm just saying like at, at my Walmart compared to the ground beef, it was like the same. I can't remember the brand I got, but there, were, there wasn't many options. There was like one option and you could only buy it for at for like one pound in a container anyways, so. It's just not really available around me in the first place. <laughs> Feel strong, man. Oh, going crazy. Got a mark room looter. Oh no, I'm breaching. But I could open that. Now I'm scared of. Ooh! Whoa! The fuck, dude? What is your problem, man? I think we got him. Ooh! Thankfully, he did not have AP20. I'm using the Zero Ergo SA58. AP20 would have, would have smoked me into the ground, I think. What's he got in it? Flechetti, dude. Got that flechetti, man. The spaghetti ammo. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Flechette good. I've seen people using it. Um, yeah, It's good if they are... Uh, if you're like shooting in the throat area, it spreads, you can kill people a lot. Hello? Oh. Doing the limbo. Yeah. Mr. Scav. They are, Al. They sure are. The shoreline loot route I made last wipe is still the same as one this wipe, honestly.
Would you guys want me to make another, uh, another shoreline loot route just to show you guys like the new items that spawn for this wipe? I would just run into an offline raid at some point and like quickly run you guys through all the spawns. I might as well, right? It takes like two minutes one day when we do it. Not Max Trader gun builds. I right before wipe happened, I made a video about all my favorite guns from level one traders. It was just like in a very saturated time, so it never popped off with views or anything. It's still on my YouTube though. It's just kind of buried. Fine, man. Yeah, the Marin key thumbnail is really good too. Very good. And same with the, the guide one. Thumbnail's been going crazy, man. Okay, how many more times do we have to loot Mark's room? Three more, so. Oh, somebody stole it from us this rate, I forgot. Got that house key for 180k, so it's definitely Yeah, no, for sure. No doubt. At that price, man, you, it's unbeatable. Amazing key. I traded 15 GPUs for my Marin, and I think I was still on track to make a little bit of profit from it. Alright, because how much is 15 GPUs cost total? Um, I'm, oh, RBBK? That's cheap, right? The logic. And the CGI, that's a free... Wait, 7.5 mil for what? Wait, what, what was I asking the price of? I can't even remember. I can't even remember what I was asking the price of. What's 7.5 mil? Oh, 15 GPUs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Uh, my brain is all over the place. Brain scrambled. 15 GPUs, 7.5 mil. Okay, so I'm definitely on, on track to make profit from the Marin key. It's just not nearly as much as I would if I got it. For, for cheaper, but I overpaid for the key. I straight up said I overpaid for the key in the video just because I wanted to make the video for you guys and get it out there. Rather than like, I'm, I don't know, I, I have other ways of making money, dude. It's not that big of a deal for me to, to lose out a little bit buying a key to make content on it, you know? RBBK is 120k, I think. Too much reaper? Not even though, dude. I'm not even a, I'm not even a weed smoker, man. I don't like it. I just don't. I mean, it doesn't really fit the whole like gym grind thing anyways. I run out of breath too easily enough to be smoking. <laughs> this is a zero ergo essay, yeah. Marin is really fun to open. The problem is, dude, you get camped opening it a lot. There's a lot of people that like to snipe up on that hill that'll kill you. I don't lose it. Nope, I am not a weed smoker, man. Not at all. I'm not saying it's impossible to smoke weed and be an athlete or lift or anything like that. I'm just saying that it's definitely not helping you. <laughs> Messing up your lungs is definitely not helping you be a better athlete. I'm not saying it's impossible to do both. Dude, look. <laughs> you got you got crackheads, man. You have you have a legitimate crackhead in the NBA. You got a man doing crack in the NBA, man. <laughs> Smoking the bozo pack. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it's definitely possible, man.
I'm not saying it's the reason that I don't smoke weed. I'm not saying it's impossible to do that. <laughs> weed promotes lung function and no cap. Okay. Um, I'm sure that there is studies that have... Are these AI guys are players that I can't tell. I'm sure there are studies that would agree with that. Don't get me wrong. I'm just like using my adult common sense and thinking that inhaling stuff through your lungs all the time over a period of time probably is not beneficial but i could be wrong i'm not a fucking scientist or a doctor i'm just saying that's how i came to my own informed decision right I'm not saying I'm not saying you're gonna die from smoking weed I'm not saying you shouldn't smoke weed i have no reference or opinion there and i'm not asking for i'm not yeah i'm sure it's not nearly as harmful as like say a cigarette but i don't know 